And this is Lorene Ron. She was 14 years old back in April of 1980 when she disappeared. The teenager's mom went out one night in late April, just a couple weeks after Lorene's birthday, trusting that her daughter would be fine on her own without babysitting help. The mother allowed Lorene to invite two friends over, one male and one female, to hang out for a few hours while she was gone. The night was mostly uneventful for the three teenagers who busied themselves watching TV and just chilling. Later that evening, the three heard voices in the hallway outside of Lorene's family's apartment in the city of Manchester, New Hampshire. They assumed Lorene's mom was on her way home, so the young male guests left for the night. Lorene and her friend went to bed in the friend in Lorene's room. Uh, with the friend in Lorene's room and the 14-year-old girl sleeping on the couch for the evening. When Lorene's mom returned home later that evening, she walked through the building's hallway to find every single light bulb in the common area unscrewed. She thought that was strange, but she was ready to get home and didn't think much of it. And when she finally got to her apartment, she found that the front door was unlocked and the back door wide open. Alarmed, she went to check on Lorene. She quietly opened the girl's bedroom door, saw a young woman sleeping in the bed, and assumed that it was her daughter. Satisfied that everything was safe and sound, the mother brushed aside the light bulb issue and went to sleep. The next morning, she learned of the mistaken identity. It wasn't Loreen in the bed, but her friend. Loreen, who had gone to sleep on the couch hours earlier, unbeknownst to her mother, wasn't in the apartment at all. Suddenly, the wide open back door and the unlocked front door were major concern. The terrified mother called Manchester police and they began to investigate. The apparent abduct, uh, abductor had hours long head start, though the cops weren't able to track down any reliable sign of Loreen. It was as if she had simply vanished into thin air. Months later, still distraught over her account um, of her daughter's disappearance, Loreen's mother was paying her phone bill. And on the statement, she noticed several charges made to her account from a phone number in California. Confused, she researched the calls and found at least one of them had been made to a hotline meant for teens who had questions about sex. Lorene's mother immediately suspected her daughter and made the calls and was and and that she was alive somewhere in California. She hired a private investigator to track the girl down. The PI didn't find Lorene, sadly, but he did come across the owner of the hotline. He was known as a man as Dr. Z. He was also known to police. In California, cops quietly believed him to be a child pornographer. Sadly, the case went cold from there. Lorene has never been found.